False vote kicking people. And then you know what gun they switch to? The P90. They switch to the P90. Yeah, because it does this, you know? <laughs> and it even four hits, so, uh, yeah, I know. It's it's awesome. I won't lie, I actually kind of have fun when I use this gun as well. But, uh, so hello gamers and welcome back to another video. Now, toxic players are people who like to use a very specific set of guns in this game and are annoying in the chat. They will false vote kick and do all that kind of stuff. So, in today's video, I'll be going over the most toxic gun in every single category in Phantom Forces. The first gun up is, unfortunately, the AUG-A2. The AUG-A2 has a very wide range of players, either people that are really bad and are using it to crutch, people who are insanely good at the game and are using it because it's also a crutch, and people who are toxic and use it as a crutch and then say, I am very good at this video game. Oh, look at this. Uh, we already have an AUG-A2 guy, but I think he's rank- okay, he's rank 50. Um... Yeah, he's using the AUG-A2. I'm sure that guy is, is nice, but if you're going to find a toxic assault rifle user, chances are they are going to be somebody using the AUG-A2. Now, for battle rifles, we have somebody using the ECR, specifically with the 5.56 conversion. I have never liked this conversion, because you're taking a very fun and interesting conversion, or interesting gun, I mean, and you're turning it into the most boring assault rifle you've ever used in your entire life. It's a 4 to a 5 hit, 800 RPM, very, very similar reload time to every other assault rifle and it's just your average 556 assault rifle it's not even that good it's just the fact that people will take the beowulf ecr which is a really fun gun not a great gun right now but a very fun gun and they'll turn it into just the most generic gun of all time yeah you have a special place you're going to after you die if you use this yeah i'm trolling it's not that bad but let me know in the comments if you're an ECR 556 user. Next up, for SMGs, we have people using, for some reason, the P90. And it's not even the low ranks using the P90. Vector SIG users actually are usually pretty just decent at the game. But if you're a high rank and you want a really, really fast firing gun that is extremely easy to use, um, this is for you. It has 50 bullets, 1100 RPM, really low recoil, great shots to kill. This gun requires very little, very little to be going on um, in your brain at the time of using it you know i think this gun is actually like super fun after this update i'm not gonna lie but i have seen some people that uh they're not doing that good they're false vote kicking people and then you know what gun they switch to the p90 they switch to the p90 yeah because it does this you know <laughs> and it even four hits so uh yeah i know it's it's awesome next up we have light machine guns which is honestly the m60 people using the m60 are using it because it's very crutch or they're just trying to be the most annoying person in your lobby. It's kind of funny because this gun does not deserve to be as good as it is right now, but it is that good. It is as good as it is, and, and what it is is very good. Uh, that was a really weird way to say that. It has 100 bullets, and it shoots really quick, and it can 3-hit kill to any range. Any range with AP. If you hit somebody in the torso three times, it will kill them to a billion, million, trillion studs away. They made this gun as overpowered as physically possible on purpose. That's right, they decided to do this. Next up, we have Carbine, and for this one, I'm actually going to be giving it to the K1A. Now, I've seen some just really weird people that use the K1A. I'm not saying everybody who does, but I feel like the one Carbine that I just see, like, the most, I don't know, entitled people possible is the K1A, dude. People still think this gun is good. This gun is really not that good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh my gosh, they made it so loud. Ooh, I actually kind of like the sound effect. Now, this gun used to be really, really good. It had the 223 extended mag, and it didn't actually change the hits to kill. And it used to do 33 to 19 damage, and now it does 30 to 16, but it has a torso multiplier, but it doesn't make it like a three hit or anything. So it's really not that good. I'm not going to lie. The recoil is kind of mid. It doesn't have that extended mag anymore. Before, it was a four to a six, but then you could run 223 extended mag and have a four to a six and have 40 bullets, which made it actually really good. And then the recoil became a lot better with 223. Now, 223 does like... 14 min damage. Uh, oh, look at this. It's a rank 70 with Augie 2. I'm not saying this guy's toxic either. I'm just saying. I'm just saying pe some people that use it. People that keep commenting, use the K1A. It's still very good. Or use the K1A. It's good. It, it isn't really that good. You like it? Whatever. But <laughs> there's just so many better guns. Use the SR3M. It's, it's literally this, but it does more damage and it can three hit kill. So, uh, yeah, it has the same fire. Yes, this does reload pretty quick, but it's like, yeah, but it sucks over range. It's just so bad over range. The recoil isn't that good, so just use an SMG. And if you want something with a little bit more range, it's this is not it, okay? It's not terrible, okay? Enough K1A rant. Okay, look at you. Look at you, okay, dude? Next up, we have Sniper Rifles. Now, what is the most toxic sniper? Probably Hecate. People with the BFG are just usually noobs, but people with the Hecate are people with the BFG, but 
All grown up, I'm rank 112 now, and I pre-bought this gun. And yeah, this gun is actually like the BFG, but good. Uh, the BFG, yeah, it's not very good. Hecate is like that, but you don't have to reload every single bullet. Same bullet velocity, same torso kill range of infinite. It doesn't have a limb kill range. BFG actually only limb kills to like 50 studs anyway, so it's not like that big of a deal. Just hit him in the torso, it's not that hard. And yeah, this gun is, is just really freaking good. I ain't even gonna lie, people are probably gonna get mad at me for actually using it right now. Honestly, I don't know about you, but I don't feel like there's really a toxic DMR. But I would say the one that causes the most toxicity is probably Mark 11 500 Phantom, because this is honestly like an amazing conversion, especially if you're not very good at the game. Because yes, it's semi-auto, and yes, it has terrible bullet velocity, but if we've learned anything from this update, it's that a thousand bullet velocity isn't as bad as people used to think, right? After this SMG update, a lot of guns have had a thousand bullet velocity. Now, normally, I wouldn't be running an actual scope with this i would actually just be running a red dot because this is essentially point blank i don't even know i like i thought that was my teammate what the this gun 10 bullets shoots very very quick and it can one shot to the torso up close and it's actually not too bad over range it can two shot all ranges and one shot headshot all ranges yes one shot to the head all ranges but it has a thousand bullet velocity which is really really bad it's about like 70 percent worse than the base ammo however um it does a lot of damage and uh if you can just aim above people it's actually not too bad as in bullet velocity used to be considered really bad until this update where they made a bunch of guns have that low bullet velocity look a p9 but next up we have the shotgun it's probably gotta go to the use house but i'm gonna use the dt11 why am i gonna use the dt11 because I don't want to use the USAS, I don't want to use the DT-11, because this gun is fun. The USAS uh, is a 450 RPM, same fire as a grease gun, a uh, shotgun. It can still one-shot people, which is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, they really got to buff that gun. I feel bad for you, man. DT-11 isn't really toxic, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, well, it could be, I guess. With the short barrel, it probably is. I prefer to not have short barrel, because I prefer to run this on, like, medium-range maps and run around one-tapping people. But if you are playing on a close-range map, oh my gosh, the short barrel is so good on this gun. I guess I can use it for, like, one second. But yeah, it shoots really quick. The spread is really awful. I'm not going to lie, if you're pretty decent, I feel like any other shotgun will do you better, because... Like this, it's just bad. Like if I had a double barrel there, both those people are dead. Two bullets, insta kills, right? Insta kills. Yes, this gun can one shot, and yes, it's full auto, so it's like, oh well, if you miss your shot, but oh, it's a shotgun. Like, it's gotta be perfectly accurate. Yeah, if you're running it like point blank. Oh my gosh, that didn't kill you. That's crazy. Either way, I I won't lie. I actually kind of have fun when I use this gun as well. But uh, oh yeah, use DT11. It's fun. I have 22, 43 kills on it. I only have 138 on the USAS, man. I don't be using this at all. Now for the pistols, we gotta give it to the XIX, you know. Look at this, rank 96 XIX, you pre-bought the XIX. Yes, so if you're like a toxic rank 70, you pre-bought the XIX. Look at that. I'm actually manifesting like people sitting on top of rooftops and pre-buying a rank 20 gun. It's actually crazy, dude. Either way though, it's the XIX. Can one-shot people. So people pre-bought it, you know? I think it makes complete sense to pre-buy the XIX. I don't blame anybody for doing it, but I will say, yeah, if you're like a toxic rank 70, you pre-bought the XIX. I'm not saying that guy that just killed me is toxic or anything. He, he just bought the gun. There's nothing wrong with pre-buying guns, okay? I have to say that. A lot of people think there's something wrong with it. It's a feature in the game, okay? You're allowed to do it. Nobody's like, hey, um, we added this feature to pre-buy weapons, but you're actually not allowed to use it. But, but we added it anyway. Machine pistol, and that's the Tech 9. I guarantee you, you've seen like 20 people in your life that have a BFG 50 and a Tech 9, and they're like rank 38, okay? They will have both of these guns. Shoot fast gun and shoot slow gun. But one do lots of damage and the other one do lots of not damage. I don't know. And next up we have the revolvers, which probably has to go to the executioner. I'm not a big executioner user. I don't feel like a lot of people are anymore. Kind of sad about that. Even though every single time I bring up both of the XIX and the executioner, I always say like, yeah, the XIX is better, which I think is true. But I still feel like more people need to be using this gun again because it's still good. The executioner is still good. I just don't think it's as good as the XIX. It reloads a little bit slower. The walk speed is absolutely terrible. It fires a little bit slower and the recoil is higher, but I think it can one shot a little farther, which is cool. This gun is good. I just, I don't know, man. I just don't prefer it. It does single load, which is kind of an interesting quirk about it. It's not necessarily a great feature to single load, especially considering the single shot reload. On this is probably very similar timing to the reload time of, oh my gosh, it says 3.1, but that's probably not true. But it's very similar to the XX. So it says 3.1, and this is 2.4 and 2.7. See how long this is. It's like, ooh, it's, it's probably like only 1.8 seconds or something. It's still like, okay, you're only reloading one shell though. To be fair, this gun does kill with one bullet, so 
maybe you can just single load after every single time you kill a guy, you know? It's kind of cool because just like those pump action shotguns, you can be constantly reloading. But at the end of the day, 2.4 seconds isn't very long. Like maybe if it was like a four second reload, you'd be like, eh, well, single loading is kind of nice. Last up, we have the other category, which is probably the Saga 12U. The SFG would kind of be that, but I don't see a lot of low ranks using it. Or maybe they just never kill me with it, which is probably also true because that thing has aim choke and it has, oh my gosh, and it has very, very low bullet velocity. So maybe that's why I don't see it that often. Uh, I do see the BFG from rank 58. What, how are you not killing that guy? I think it's just a fact of life. You get killed by a BFG, you get killed by intervention, you know, stuff like that happens, man. But yeah, I do think the uh, Saga 12U is honestly a very good secondary, one of the best in the game easily. Is it the best secondary? I wouldn't say it's the best secondary. I'd probably rank the XIX and stuff like that over it. The XIX is a more skilled, but more consistent. Look at this, rank 79, heck yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. But I'm not saying any of these guys in particular are being toxic. They're just using a gun. And I don't think it's fair to say like, oh, you are using a gun that is a higher rank than your rank. You pre-bought it. That's a feature. You're allowed to do it. Anyways, though, gamers, that is the most toxic gun in every category. Let me know down in the comments. You disagree, agree, any other suggestions for videos, but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a nice day.